Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're taking a look at my desk setup for 2017. This is my Mac Pro first generation. I picked this Mac Pro up back in January, and uh, when I first got it, it was running Mac OS 10.6 Snow Leopard, um, it wasn't booting up, and basically I wiped the 250GB hard drive that was in it, which was the original factory hard drive, installed 10.7 line on it, and then got Mac OS X El Capitan, uh, modified and installed on this computer. If you want to know how to do that, there will be a link down in the description to someone who knows uh, just how to do it. You can download the DMG file and just store it onto your hard drive. This computer has been totally specced out. I've added Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and I've upgraded the graphics card from the stock 7300 GT, which could barely run Mac OS 10.7 Lion, let alone Mac OS 10.11 El Capitan. And I replaced it with two 8800 GT graphics cards, allowing me to add up to four monitors. Internally, this computer has a 240GB SSD for boot, a 2TB hard drive, a 1TB hard drive, and a 320GB hard drive. I've also upgraded the memory from the 8 gigs that came in it when I brought it to 32GB of RAM using 8 4GB ECC memory. I also added a second DVD burner, allowing me to set it in a different region code for watching movies from overseas. With all these upgrades installed, the Mac Pro gets a single core score of 1421, and the multi-core score gets 5060. Now heading over to Cinebench, which is a benchmarking tool for uh, video and also your CPU as well. So you can see here with the OpenGL test that it runs quite smoothly actually. There is a little bit of stuttering here and there, but definitely not too bad for an 11 year old Mac. Um, and as for the CPU test, it is about as equivalent um, in comparison to a modern day i5 processor. Um, sure, it could be a lot better than what it is, but for an 11 year old computer, this is not too bad at all. I will be looking into getting a newer Mac Pro, but for now, this Mac Pro is pretty good. So you can see here, it gets a OpenGL score of about 27.10 frames a second and a CPU score of 260 CBs. Now I also added some LED strips to the back of my desk to allow uh, extra lighting and also it gives the desk a very nice look. Now I custom built this desk myself um, using two old desk frames I got from school and put a bench top on it. It's the perfect size with enough room on the end to allow me to record my YouTube videos. It currently has my modified late 2008 MacBook, which I actually got for free from school. It also houses my docking station for hard drives, and also there's usually a hard drive or two sitting over there as well. Above that is a pole where I sit the light bar to project light onto the videos I'm recording. Behind that MacBook is a series of cables for testing and charging certain things. So we have a MagSafe 1 for charging up my MacBook. We have a 30 pin cable for charging up the older iPhones and also a lightning cable for charging up some of the newer iPhones. These USB cables plug into a USB hub mounted under my desk behind my power board. Underneath the desk you see the cores have been relatively well tucked away and aren't visible when you stand up. Underneath my desk I've also got a series of speakers and also my custom built amp which allows me to drive those speakers at high volumes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. And I'll catch you guys next time another one of my great videos.